What is up guys and welcome back to ANR Gaming. This time we're going to be doing another Genshin Impact video. We're going to be talking about the uh, Trails of Tianku quest. I hope I pronounced that right. It is difficult. I think I got close, so let's just go with that. So right here is where the quest is, so you need to get to right where my icon is. Um, just, you know, teleport to the closest teleport and then ride your way over there. Um, you're going to start it just by hitting this tablet and it's going to give you some dialogue to go through and it'll go ahead and start the quest. Now this quest is very good because it gives you three, it gives you a bunch of chests in between, but once you're done with the quest, it gives you three Lux chests right next to each other. So that's great. Um, and it also is a pretty localized quest, so you don't have to travel very far and it's it's not terribly confusing. Um, it's a little difficult at, at particular parts, but um, at least you don't have to go walk around and figure out what to do too much, you know. So right here in, in this building, once you start it off, you're gonna go into this building. You can start any of them, but uh, I just went ahead and started in this one. So all the floors in this building are gonna be like these fire puzzle quests. And so what you're gonna do here is just the, like, a lot of them are grouped up so that if you light one, it lights up a couple of different ones. So this one's very easy. You just light up the one of the ones on the edge and then you light up the middle ones. And then from there you get the chest and then you go up to the second floor. Now the second floor is a little difficult. <laughs> that one is, I, I still am not 100% sure how this one works. So I did include everything I did in case you have to recreate it, but I did kind of get it down to as long as you get this one particular um, corner isolated, then you can finish it off from there. So you might have to do some, you know, poking around and guessing until you get one particular one lit up. And once you do have that one lit up, uh, it, this will show you where to go. If not, you can recreate every single step I did and that will bring you to the right part as well. <laughs> but it was, it was definitely a process to figure this one out. It was very confusing and very frustrating. <laughs> So this is, I, I kept it on fast speed so you can slow it down if you need to with YouTube or whatnot, but um, we're just about there and, and figuring out what to do. So this is where I, I figured it out. So this is where it, we have that one piece left in the corner there and I just lit up the second, right? And then you're gonna light up this one right here and then it finishes off the rest, okay? So that's what you do. As long as you do that, you'll be okay. So that one's the only kind of iffy step in this. The rest, um, this thing will guide you straight through. So right here, this one's very easy um, puzzle light. So basically you just uh, get out amber. It, amber makes this the easiest because um, you need some ranged fire. So you're gonna take out, I think I try, or I, maybe I didn't even use amber for this. <laughs> Okay, yes, I, I did switch to Amber because she was obviously not gonna work out. So I switch over to Amber, and then you're just gonna use her ranged charge to light all of the, um, the whatever you call it, candlesticks, poles, whatever you wanna call them. Um, it, they didn't seem to be in any particular order, so if there is an issue, just do it in the same exact order I did because I did it on the first try. You can see how terrible my aim is here. <laughs> I do not use charge shot often because of this. <laughs> I'm also using mobile, so I give myself that excuse. Um, but yeah, you just go ahead and line up those shots, and then you activate it, and that will give you this first um, kind of triangle thing that you need to get you can see it floating up there at the top oh I had a little low battery there for a second too um, but yeah you, you get this Lux chest this is isn't even one of the big ones that you get later on but um, yeah you grab that and then you're gonna bring it down to the center altar thing in the middle of the, the three buildings and it's gonna just kind of go into the floor there um, by the altar so once you're over there, I kind of piece this together. So one of the pieces is already in there. I, I kind of, you know, you won't see that until now. Like this is actually the one that um, I had in the first one. So right here, this is the second building that you're gonna wanna do. This one's just a straight up challenge building. So there's like three floors of challenges. It's all fairly straightforward. You just have to make sure that you're a high enough level 
to complete it all. I, I just skipped past the combat for you guys. So once you completed that one, you just hop upstairs and then you start the next one. So just finish them off. Feel free to pop your, you know, your burst cooldowns and everything like that. Not a big deal. None of them were particularly difficult. And then once you do that, you want to go, that's me. I have to loot everything, of course. <laughs> you go up to the last floor and finish off those challenges there. And this one is, once again, it's a simple combat one. This one was a little bit more difficult, I remember, than the uh, than the others, granted, but it wasn't that much more difficult. Just pop some ults and you'll be good. All right, once you have this triangle, once again, you're gonna bring it back down to the altar. I'm looking for a different way out here. There is no other way out. You, you just have to climb back down the stairs. And then once you do that, uh, we just have one more room to go. And this one, the, the third room is, how should I say? It's, it's shorter, but it's probably the one that tripped me up the most. So once you finish up with that one and you're on your way to the last room, there's going to be like a jumping puzzle that you have to do. And, and it's within a particular amount of time as well. So that makes it even more difficult. So this took uh, a little bit of time to try to figure out how to, how to get done. Because I was trying to figure out how to do it without having to switch to the Traveler um, in Geo. But I did have to switch to the Traveler in Geo. If you have Venti or something like that, this makes it way easier. Um, if you don't, you are pretty much going to have to get um, your your Geo out so you can get these to help yourself hop on. Because they have these meticulously placed to ensure that you cannot get up on the edges. And that from the walls you can't fly on or anything like that. It's, it's very difficult. Um, so once you do that, kind of just cheat your way around. And we're just gonna pop it again. You, you pretty much get there with with just a few seconds left. So you have to be very quick about it. Granted, I, I think this was my second time doing it with the with the Geo, like once I decided to, to take this route. So I wasn't particularly practiced at it at the time, but you know, still made it. So it's it's not too terribly difficult. And if you're better at jumping puzzles than I am, then this is probably cake for you. So you get that last one. And then you go down to the middle and then I died <laughs> and then you're gonna go ahead and submit this one I remember to uh, use my wings this time all right and then there's gonna be a combat right here so make sure that you're prepared for the combat so these guys are about to come out once again not a difficult fight at all and if you really need to just pop them over the ledge once you're done, you get these luxurious chests right over here. Three luxurious chests, it's a beautiful thing. So that is what you're looking for right there. Um, whenever you can get a quest with a bunch of Lux chests, and keep in mind, like you, you had another Lux chest earlier from one of the rooms. So yeah, this is a really, really good quest to do. Gives you a lot of stuff, um, you get good XP from it, so everything that you need. So that is pretty much going to do it with this guide. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, leave some comments if there's a, a few things that I maybe missed in this area or if there's a particular quest that you guys are having trouble with. Um, just let me know and uh, I'll, I'll probably do something about it. So thank you all so much. And until next time, game on.